Hi, Natalie, Brian. Imagine if I could tell you on your commute, maybe from Naperville into say Gold Coast. It's a long drive. You could be hands free. You could read the paper. You could do a crossword puzzle. Hey, you could even watch Fox 32 Chicago. Well, one company says it's not enough to have smart cars anymore. We need smart roads. Take a listen. Congestion, traffic delays. Could all three soon be a thing of the past? What are you talking about? That sounds way too much like the Jetsons. That's what Tyler Duvall would have told you 20 years ago when he was a transportation official. But now he says autonomous vehicles could make driving headaches disappear. They're going to be making these vehicles within the next 10 years. You're probably going to have about, say, 20 to 25 percent of the vehicles sold will have this capability. Duvall is now the CEO of Cavenue, a company piloting the world world's first smart highway here in Michigan. The project, paid for by Cavenue, stretches three miles along a portion of I-94 connecting Detroit to Ann Arbor, Michigan, using poles in the median outfitted with cameras, radar sensors, and wireless radio equipment. Eventually, the company will be able to communicate with every car along the entire corridor. The roadway will be talking to the cars. Cars will be talking to each other. We can use technology to start allowing these vehicles to operate more efficiently. Cav News Towers essentially act like a router connecting to each car and creating a network of information. What one car sees can be instantly communicated to cars behind them by giving vehicles a better sense of what lies ahead all drivers are safer. The analogy I've used is aviation. We can tell when there are hazards in the airspace that other planes need to adapt to. And you know, this is all really neat, right? But it's also about our friends and family safety. The National Highway Transportation Safety Administration says the U.S. spends about $300 billion reacting to traffic fatalities. So this company, Cavenu, says why not be proactive, save lives, put that money into better infrastructure. Natalie, Brian. You know, I find it so interesting, Kelly, that we're talking about Michigan again for a special project like this because it wasn't too long ago, and you might remember this, Kelly, as well. They were talking about uh, creating a charged roadway so that people that have those electric cars it could be charged as they were driving on the road right that's that's exactly right and what they want to do is essentially make this a possibility for every kind of car so this doesn't have to be an EV it just has to have all the sensors that most modern cars already have in order to make us all have a safer driving experience